Things to do in Toronto It's no surprise that Toronto has become one of North America's biggest travel destinations. Its diverse population, curious history, and seemingly endless green space provide a great introduction to life in the second largest country in the world. It's impossible to run out of activities and events in Toronto with exciting attractions, live performances, professional sports and festivals for everything. Sit back and enjoy these things to do in Toronto. A visit to Ripley's Aquarium of Canada will be a memorable experience. A trip to Toronto, Canada can be enhanced by an aquatic experience. You won't want to miss Ripley's Aquarium in Toronto. There are all kinds of marine life displayed at this wonderful facility, and it is one of the top places for families to go in Toronto. Underwater tunnels with moving sidewalks are the most impressive feature. In the tunnel roof above you, you can see sharks gliding past and sawfish lingering on the roof of the tunnel. It's a truly calming experience for everyone. It's also worth noting that the jellyfish display, punctuated with creative lighting, is another unexpected highlight. Additionally, guests can interact with stingrays and small sharks and touch tanks. As a bonus, the open concept of the building allows visitors to see the facility's life support system and filtration equipment. Immerse in the beauty of the Royal Ontario Museum The Royal Ontario Museum is a great place to learn about the past when you're in Toronto. Those interested in history, science, or art will find this to be one of Toronto's most fascinating activities. Featuring more than three dozen galleries, there's no wonder why the Royal Ontario Museum is so well loved. A visit to the Royal Ontario Museum will allow you to see both historic and prehistoric artifacts. A number of pieces from Japan's first century, as well as dinosaur bones can be seen here. As a result, visitors can gain an insight into the past before humans were even alive. The Royal Ontario Museum is an excellent place to visit while in Toronto if you're looking for learning activities. This is a great place for anyone with a curious mind. Shop through St. Lawrence Market People and products go hand in hand in great markets. Located in Toronto, Canada, St. Lawrence Market is home to more than 100 vendors and dates back more than two centuries. As there are so many excellent stands, it'll be very easy to keep yourself occupied. Markets like St. Lawrence Market are some of the best in the world. Here, you can decide what will satisfy your hunger the best if you're even slightly hungry. Many different types of seafood, fruits, and pastries are available, as well as an art gallery. Sundays are filled with antiquing events. St. Lawrence Market is a Toronto institution you shouldn't miss. Increasingly popular in the city, it's a must-see. Discover the Art Gallery of Ontario It's imperative that you take the time to see at least one art gallery when you are visiting a city such as Toronto, Canada. This is perfectly illustrated by the Art Gallery of Ontario. Among North America's largest art galleries, the Art Gallery of Ontario AGO, has over 95,000 works. The art here is among the best you've ever seen. With more than 95,000 pieces of art from all over the world, the collection includes European masterworks to contemporary art, as well as impressive collections of Canadian artwork, including a large collection of Group of Seven works. In the course of the year, a series of temporary exhibitions is held. Located on the west side of the city center, AGO occupies a unique building that blends old and new architecture. Get lost in the Toronto Music Garden A favorite spot for music lovers in Toronto, the Toronto Music Garden overlooks the Inner Harbour. Tourists walking through Toronto's harbour front neighborhood can easily access this urban garden, plus it has great views of the CN Tower, another activity on the list. The Toronto Music Garden was designed by former professional landscape and architect Julie Moir Maserby and Yo-Yo Ma, the cello maestro. Ma is now priding himself on being a landscape architect after working on the garden with Julie Moir Maserby. The project involved a physical interpretation and manifestation of Johann Sebastian Bach's cello suite number as the first of six suites for unaccompanied cello written by the composer. One in G major is interpreted as a garden. Different sections of the garden are created by utilizing the six dance movements Prelude, Allemande, Coriante, Serbande, Menuit, and Gigi of the piece. During the summer, free classical music concerts are held beneath a weeping willow tree beneath the Gigi or Jig section. This urban garden is beautiful regardless of whether you are a classical music fan. And as mentioned before, next is See the View from the CN Tower. CN Tower is often associated with Toronto, a Canadian icon as well as one of North America's most iconic monuments. As you make your way up to the top, you'll discover that it's really an architectural marvel. It is impossible to miss Toronto's 553-meter CN Tower, the city's most famous landmark. It dominates the city's downtown and can be seen almost everywhere. 
There are many great views of the city and Lake Ontario from the observation areas and restaurants, or you can appreciate the building from the ground. A freestanding structure once taller than the CN Tower built between 1972 and 1976 has been surpassed since then. If you're looking for a little more adventure, or maybe a whole lot more adventure, there's the Edge Walk. It involves walking from 365 meters high on a ledge 1.5 meters wide, hands-free. Ropes and safety harnesses are used to keep participants safe. If you ever visit Toronto, Canada, make sure you don't miss the CN Tower. Day Trip to Niagara Falls It's well worth the time to take a quick day trip from Toronto to Niagara Falls if you've never been. Just over an hour and you can be at the edge of the falls. Sound, sight, and feeling are all sensations of the falls. You get a very unique perspective of Niagara Falls when you're in Canada. Canada has the largest of the three Niagara River Falls, Horseshoe Falls, which is located on the side of the river. There is a chance that you might get pretty wet. It's definitely worth it to go to the waterfalls if you're interested in them. Toronto is not complete without visiting Niagara Falls. This can be one of the best trips if you are near these falls. An experience like this is the best way to witness nature while on vacation. It may also be worth considering staying the night at Niagara Falls if you have enough time to explore the downtown and see the falls lit up. Take a look at Toronto Botanical Garden. Beautiful plants can be admired by everyone, not just florists or botanists. The Toronto Botanical Garden stands out among the best attractions in Toronto. Here you'll find all kinds of fantastic plants flourishing in an exceptionally well-maintained environment. It has been more than 60 years since Toronto Botanical Garden opened. It contains 17 different gardens, so you can see lots of plants. Among the plants you'll find are perennials, hedges, fruit trees, and more. The teaching garden at Toronto Botanical Garden is suitable for younger members as well. Taking a stroll in the Toronto Botanical Garden can be an unforgettable experience. Toronto Botanical Garden is a great place for fun and peace of mind. Take a stroll and enjoy nature at High Park. Going to High Park in Toronto, Canada can be a highlight of your time there. There are sunken gardens, hanging basket gardens, nature trails, springs, and ponds in High Park. Howard's originally owned the 165-acre property before it was deeded to Toronto in 1873. The deed stipulated that the park be used, enjoyed, and benefited by the people of Toronto under the name High Park. As part of the park, there's also a zoo, which is home to a wide range of animals such as bison, reindeer, llamas, wallabies, and Toronto's famous capybaras. Bonnie and Clyde, which made headlines in 2016 after escaping their enclosure and establishing social media accounts. A scenic train tour is one of the many activities available at the park, as well as swimming and wading pools, playgrounds, picnic areas, and a playground. It also includes a coach house, an 18th century garden, and a tomb for the Howards. For outdoor lovers, High Park is a real treat. Experience the entertainment district's shows and restaurants. There's no better place to party than the city's entertainment district. Many of Toronto's top attractions are located in the entertainment district, including the CN Tower, Rogers Centre, and many museums. In addition to delicious dining, it is known for its live performances and shows. In the area between Spadina Avenue and University Avenue, there's a lot of action, especially along King Street. A great place for nightlife, Toronto's entertainment district is the city's answer to Broadway. Performing arts, including musicals and concerts, are held here. Here you can catch the most recent musicals at the Royal Alexandra Theatre and Roy Thompson Hall, which plays host to Toronto Symphony Orchestra. Toronto, Canada is one of the most unique cities in North America, and a must-see. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.